Hey guys, welcome back to Stindy Games, and today I'm checking out a game called Constant C. It's a platform kind of curious puzzle-based game that reminds me in some ways of Insanely Twisted Shadow Planets and in other ways of The Bridge. And it's best played with apparently a controller, so that's what I'm using at the moment, my Xbox controller. Ah, oh, yeah. Now it's time to jump into a new game, and I'll show you guys exactly what this new indie title is about. It's available on Steam for £6.29 at the moment, that's 10% off, it's usually £6.99. Or you can catch it on Xbox Live Arcade for I'm not sure how much, but it's there at least anyway. So let's jump in. Right, oh, there I am, little dude. Now what really appealed to me about this is the graphics and the music both seem really amazing and, and, and really appealing actually. Oh yes, I'm a little robot dude, right, left stick to move left and right. A to jump. Oh yes, yeah, simple. It's got a good feel to it as well. The game feels solid and I feel like I've got a lot of control over my dude. Okay, so I've gone off screen. Oh yes, yeah, so this is my cute little robot dude. Oh yeah, how you doing pal? Now, what am I doing? What's this, this up here? Now these are weird kind of alien boxes. Now I think I can move these somehow. But what do I do? Am I, I'm pressing all the buttons, nothing's working. Well, I guess if I go right, then a tutorial is going to unlock to show me how to do that. No? Okay, it won't. Right trigger to go through the door? No sweat. Oh, look at that happy face. I want that happy face. Yeah! I uh, can't do anything with it, though. Okay, now I might take full damage, so I'm going to be careful jumping down here. There we go. What's this? No, I can't do anything with it. Right, right trigger to go through here. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, this is really visually appealing, actually. I really like the game. I like how the light changes as well as I move. Okay, so I'm just going to jump pillar to pillar. Here we go. Oh, lovely stuff. Now this robot needs a name. I'm going to call you Clancy. I like the name Clancy. Clancy the robot. It's a perfect robot name. Oh, look. This way. This. Oh, oh, can't get up there. How do I get up there then? Do I have to jump from here? Oh, this is a tough jump. Oh, but I've made it. Right, that way to become OP. Don't mind if I do. Sounds like exactly where I want to be. Okay, couple of red doors here. And a computer screen. What's this going to say? Hello? Hello? Is there anybody on the computer? Right trigger. Okay, here we go. Let's read the computer screen. Initializing dimensional stabilization field. Calibrating. That's my that's my robot voice. Okay, Clancy, what's this about? What's going on here? Oh, oh something's up. Field established. What now? Emergency rescue robot detected. Oh, that's me. That's Clancy. Recompressing data stream for auditory transmission. Activating voice synthesizer booting core intelligence module. I think that means the computer's going to turn on and say hello. You going to say hello? Uh, anytime this century. Oh, look, it's a face. Mmm. No, just 10 more cycles. Huh? Oh, oh, hello! Hey, computer dude, how's it going? How wonderful! You've arrived at least! I've been waiting ever so long! Hey, computer- Oh, he's so happy! Look at this dude! I am the AI charged with management of this station. I maintain all of the equipment and instruments in the laboratories. Oh, nice to meet you, little- Oh, he's, he's angry! He's angry! As you can see, the station has suffered an unfortunate accident. All of the scientists have disappeared! Oh, no! we got to rescue these rude dudes. Far more troubling, however, is the earth temporal distortion enveloping the station. Everything has been suspended in time. Weird. Oh, some weird kind of crazy scientific experiment gone wrong. Since the accident, I found myself unable to access the database. Oh, we can restore access for you, computer dude. I grew terribly bored without it, but I waited and I waited. And I waited, and finally I fell asleep. Oh, no. But that is all water under the bridge. There is work to do, and we must cut to the chase. What's this? What do you mean? Oh, I suppose you don't know what to do. <laughs> first things first. I believe you are in need of an upgrade. Okay, upgrade me, dude. Well, come on. Upgrade me, please. Are you, are you just going to look at me like a like an evil AI? Or you just, oh, what's this? I've improved your four-dimensional stabilizer field. 
Oh, this looks like a cool, a cool kind of key game mechanic thing. Why would you need such a thing, you ask? Why? Because time has ground to a halt across this space station. Oh right, so this space station is suspended in time. Only devices with a four-dimensional stabilizer field can become unstuck, as it were. All oh, right, so within this bubble, I am free from time. Or rather, everything's frozen in time around me, but everything inside this little bubble is not. Well, that must be a key puzzle element. Sadly, it seems my garbage collection subroutines were rather overzealous during my nap, so I'll need you to grab a few things for me. Namely this, this little gizmo right here, is a, is a, is a tube. Is a big tube. Find me a big tube. You can find these storage devices scattered around the R.I. Right. Okay, 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 AI, dude. That's quite enough chit chat. That's goddamn right. It's quite enough chit chat. Z z z. I'm going to sleep. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, through this door then, I guess, since the other one's red. Now everything within this bubble field um, exists in time, and everything that's not inside this bubble is frozen in time. I don't know. That sounds a bit weird. Let's see how it works. Right. Select level. Okay. Well, this one's anyone can go to. Right, so it's a puzzle game, and we unlock levels and we go through them, and we just face harder and harder challenges. Oh, oh, right, I see, right. So this is going to start to fall down when it's... Ah, oh, I see, right. So it's suspended in time at the moment, so it's stuck in space. But when it gets close to this bubble, that unlocks it from kind of temporal freeze and, and makes it move again, right. So if we come here, this box on the top will kind of level itself like that. Oh, I see, right. What do I do? Do I just, just jump from here to here? Okay. Well, that's not much of a puzzle game so far. So I wonder where this becomes important. Ah, right. Passing through. Now, if only there was a way to turn off this field. Oh. Right. So that's down the bottom there now. Now, if I activate this, that's going to fall as well. That's going to fall too. Right, okay. But where does the puzzle come in? Oh, right. This lift turns on when I go near it because it's locked in time until I get near to it. Oh, but this game looks so good. It's, it's such a kind of a cool style to it. It reminds me a lot of Braid, actually, which, which kind of played a lot with time. Okay, just jump over the crates. Lovely jump. Oh, oh, that's a lift. Right, that is a lift. Right, so I've got to make the lift go back towards this big blue crate. And then when it's near there, I could probably jump on it. Okay, so that should be enough. Oh, okay, that's going to be enough, I reckon. Now, careful. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, perfect. Ride that lift to the door. Okay, so simple so far. Okay, so constant C. Uh, I think that's a physics thing. If you know what it is, make sure you tell me in the comment section, because I have no idea what it means. But I think it's uh, some kind of... Oh, oh no, is this is this going to kill me, this weird kind of conveyor belt? Because it looks pretty spiky. Oh, it is! Oh, no, Clancy! No! Okay, okay, so I need to unlock this crate. And I can probably do that by jumping up here. And there we go. Perfect. So now it's on the conveyor belt. I need to jump on the crate and ride it. Do I ride it? Oh, I can't ride it. But can I make this jump? Let's try. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no sweat. Okay, now I just let these fall like that and use these to climb up to the next door. Pretty simple so far. I'm wondering where the challenge comes in because so far this is very, very easy. Okay, now this is going to make the lift move up and down. And I'll need to jump on this crate, I guess. That makes uh, that crate fall. And now I can get through the door. Ah, oh, but I need to use that crate somehow. If I want to get that special container. Mm. Is there a way to go back in time? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So where do I go now? There's a door there. Which I could probably unlock if I go down here and let these crates fall like that. Now I come back up. Activate the crate and there we go. Next level. Now I feel like I should have grabbed that storage container, but I missed it. Oh, Clancy, no. Okay, so if crates fall on you, you explode. That's useful, useful knowledge for the future. So I'm going to have to be very careful here. It's going to have to stay on the edge. Oh. There we go. And be careful, Clancy. There we go. Nice stuff. Oh, no, that's a gap into space. Luckily, we're robots, so we don't need to breathe. Woo! Okay, and you can't fall very far either because that will kill you too. Okay, it's useful to find these things out, even if it does cost us our lives. 
Although, can you truly die if you're a robot? I don't think so, because you're already dead. You, you were never alive? I don't know. Okay, I'll just write this one and write that one. There we go. Next door. Bam. Do not fall. Okay, I can probably probably handle that. Oh, there we go. Careful. Now, oh, I can get to this thing. I'm just going to let that crate fall. Oh, oh, now what's this? When I get close to this wire over here, sparks start to fly. Now, is that something I should be careful of? All oh, right, and I have to wait, wait, hover over this to pick it up. Get! Oh, yeah. I've got the back to tank. Oh, no, I fell. <laughs> I forgot about fall damage. Oh, damn. No worries. No worries. I can handle this. Ain't no thang. Oh, I've already got the back to tank. That's okay. So I can just right trigger out of here. Okay. Now what? Hey, computer dude. I, I got the thing. Oh, no. It wants me to go back and get the other back to tank. Well, okay. I can do that now. Which one was it on? That's right. This one. Okay. I've got to get this second storage container. Now, I've got an idea about how I do this. I think I just jump from crate to crate as quick as I can. Let's try it. Oh, I missed. Oh, and I died. But that's probably a good thing because I need to restart. Okay, let's try this. Come on. In the zone, Clancy. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, so close. Okay, I need to die and reset. Oh, but I can't quite. How do you reset? Let's try. Restart. Perfect. Right. Now, I know how we do this. We just got to keep jumping, keep jumping. That's it. I've got it. Yes. Right. Now what? Now I've got to get out of here. Now can I, do I go back or do I have to go through all the levels again? I don't know. Okay, here we go. I've got two of two. Okay, Mr. AI. Here's your stuff. I've got your stuff. Ah, yes! Hello! Wonderful to see you again! I see you've got quite a neck for it. Oh, I certainly do, Mr. AI. Come along now. Show me what you've got. Why, do you, why does he look so angry? Well, that's the angriest looking AI I've ever seen. Where am I going now? Oh, I'm putting the, uh, the data things into his belly. Oh, yeah. How'd you like that, pal? Oh, he, he loves it. Look at that evil face. Perfect, yes. That's the ticket. With this, I'll have my memory back up to snuff in no time. Then to repair the system links. Now, I'm wondering if this guy's going to turn into some evil GLaDOS or not. But you'll have to find out if you choose to pick this up and give it a play. It looks a lot of fun. It's an interesting puzzle game. If you like it, check it out on Steam at least. It's out for PC. You can use a controller to play it or the keyboard and mouse, I think. But I've been Shin and this has been Constant C. Pretty cool indie game. Hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for some more indie games sometime soon.